Hello everyone, this is Daniel Glenn, and I'm excited to announce I will be speaking at Microsoft's Ignite Conference 2018 in September. I will be part of several sessions, and some of those have already been published to the catalog. So I wanted to walk with you today through the process of finding those sessions and adding them to your schedule, while also talking about um, the schedule builder and how that process works. Okay, so let's take a look. Once you log in to ignite.microsoft.com, you're presented with recommendations. How do they get recommendations, Daniel, you ask? Um, these recommendations are based upon your profile and your interest. So make sure you update your profile and you will get recommendations here show up once you log in to the site. Let's go to connecting and expert finder. This is how you find speakers uh, that are gonna be available um, throughout the conference. So I'm gonna type in my name and there I am, first one. So uh, I'll be, I have three sessions that are in the schedule right now that I'll be taking part of. Uh, the first one, let's open up. This is creating a custom Microsoft Flow template gallery in SharePoint. This session came out of a discussion I had with fellow MVP Sarah Hazy about how we could publish Microsoft Flows just within an organization. You can publish those Microsoft Flow templates uh, to the world through the Microsoft Flow website, but what what about having a community within your organization where people can not only um, learn about what is Microsoft Flow, but how um, it is suggested to use within your organization and those templates that are really specific to your organization and you don't really want them to have to go through a Microsoft approval process to show up in the uh, Flow template gallery online. Uh, so this session is all about that. The benefits of having that centralized community and how to build one. We'll run through building that, uh, showing you how to, I'll show you how to uh, create those templates and save those templates, as well as, uh, again, like I said, build that community uh, within your organization. So while you're here, go ahead and click add to schedule. The second one that I will be participating in is the turn it all on in Office 365. If you're familiar with regarding 365, we love to do these debates, and we've done a couple of them. Uh, this one is about should you turn on all services in Office 365 in your organization? And this is really uh, centered around do you uh, allow organic growth uh, with the products, people let them discover it and just start using it? Or do you uh, take your time and release products after they've been uh, through a you know approval process and then training process? Uh, how should that work in your organization? So we've got, uh, we'll have a debate panel, uh, three each, one, three for turn it all on and three for not turn it all on. Um, Alistair is going to be a part, myself, Daryl is going to be moderating. I think Liz Sundet is going to be there. Lorian, uh, Stephen Collier, Susan, the amazing uh, Sue Hanley is going to be there as well. So um, please join us. This one will be on Wednesday at 1245. And again, while you're here looking at it, might as well go say, add to schedule, right? And then the third one that's on the schedule builder right now that I'll be a part of is the learning through sharing. This is the, again, the Regarding 365 community. Uh, we'll be getting together on Friday at 9 a.m. Really talking about this initiative that we'll be launching, right? So I'm not gonna give away all, a lot of details. And you can read some in this description already, but this is a, about how you can build community within your region, your area, your city, your town, and how we're wanting to help you and enable you and give you tools and be there for you, okay? So again, while you're on this, the looking at the session, might as well say, add to schedule, right? So um, peruse the schedule builder. This is how you add items to your schedule. You go and look, and I'll, if you go to uh, Discover Sessions, you can go to the Session Scheduler and really search. You know, uh, let's go through the days. On uh, Sunday is the, there's uh, pre-days, then Monday through Friday you have sessions. Uh, you can go through and refine. How, when do you want them to start? You know, what are you looking for start times or product? Um, is it an Office 365 or are you looking for Microsoft 365? Are you looking for, uh, what kind of level are you looking for? Uh, from uh, foundational, that 100 level, 
all the way up to expert, the 400 level. And then session type. Theater. These sessions are 20 minute sessions. Um, my first se uh, session that I talked about is a theater session. They're 20 minutes. They're hard hitting right at you. Get going. You can sit down for 20 minutes and learn something really cool. Uh, we have breakout sessions that are 75 minutes or 45 minutes long, uh, workshops, um, community meetups, etc. So uh, take a look, peruse this. And my tip is uh, go ahead and add multiple. You know, don't say, oh, I've already got one scheduled for nine o'clock. I, I, what if you get to that session and the room is full? Or what if another session comes up at nine o'clock that piques your interest just a little bit more? Uh, wouldn't it be great if you had already added that to your schedule? So make sure you do that. Just double up, triple up, whatever you need to do. Add all the sessions that um, you really would like to see. And then you can come back and really worry about, hey, I want to um, filter those, uh, those items you know, down um, and, and really build out your schedule uh, closer to the date. Okay. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please join us at Microsoft Ignite at the end of September. We, we're going to have a blast of uh, a wonderful time of learning and networking and getting to know you. So if you see me there, please uh, stop me and say hi. And of course, uh, join me in my sessions. Thank you so much.